Hello, Chain Breakers. All right, y'all, I could not, I'm not going live, but I wanted to talk about this, uh, the Tinder swindler and narcissistic uh, romance scams. Let's talk about the narcissist games, all right? The games that they play, the fakery, the phony, phony, all right, the phoniness, the fraud, fraudulence of it all, okay? All right, the word of God says above all else, all right, guard your heart, all right, for everything you do flows from it, all right, so let's get into this. All right, family, let's get into this. So for those of you who do not know, my name is Shannon Savoy. All right, I'm a certified life coach, speaker, advocate, all right, and survivor of domestic violence and narcissist abuse. I am the CEO of NAR Free Living. All right, and if you haven't been here before, we talk about narcissist abuse and spiritual warfare from a biblical perspective. All right, I always say I am a system breaker all right, a system disruptor. I help others break free, all right, from narcissistic relationships. Not me, but Jesus. We point everybody back to Jesus, all right, all right, but through practical strategies and God's words. We are truly breaking the chains of narcissist abuse. So if this is your first time here, welcome. All right, y'all, welcome our VIPs. All right, if you want to join the channel, you just hit join, and that's just another way to support, all right, the channel here. All right, and then don't forget to follow my husband, all right, uh, Faith-Based Workplace. Uh, let me see if I have his, his banner in here. All right, Faith-Based Workplace. All right, we tackle this thing together and we talk about narcissist abuse, all right? And follow the T on NPD and Pink Girl Teaches, all right? We all talk about this thing in different ways, all right? And as well, follow our brother Alan B on Clubhouse, all right? All right, all right. And then thank you so much, Carmen and uh, Mina, all right, for this message. I have been meaning to check it out. Uh, for some time, for a little while. It just came out, I think, last week or week before last or something like that, February 2nd. All right. So, um, but uh, both of you ladies email me. And then when I watched this thing, I didn't even finish it yet. That's how hot I was about this thing. I didn't even, I, I have about 30 more minutes left. All right. But uh, well, I want to talk about the things that I have said because there are, saw, because there are some lessons in here. So thank you, sisters, for that. All right. And then just some little housekeeping uh, notes. All right. If you are in, um, you know, out of a narcissistic relationship, still in it, join. All right. My birthdays, blessings. All right. Brunch and doing no contact like a boss workshop. If you've been into any of my workshops or boot camps or anything like that. All right. You know, they are a blessed time. OK. Uh, so that is this Saturday. All right. There are still a few seats. We're keeping it intimate. We're keeping it close. All right. So thank you to those who have signed up and make sure, you know, if some of you write me, y'all need to be in there. You need to be in there. Some of y'all are going through some situations. You need prayer. You need community. All right. All right. You need a word. All right. And that's what these things are for so that we can learn and grow together because I am a girl's girl. All right. Do you hear me? All right. I am a girl's girl. All right. So um, let me see. And then uh, somebody mentioned it. I forgot who it was, but they mentioned that they would like to attend the workshop. All right. But didn't have the resources. So uh, our sister Lucille. All right. Is sponsoring someone. So uh, if you want to attend, email me at support at NarcFreeLiving.com. OK. And thank you all for all of your comments. Joining us on Clubhouse every week. I think I'm about to go to with the group uh to to once or twice to twice a month all right so join us while we're still on there all right on tuesdays at 7 p.m and then go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already all right so we're discussing all right the the tinder swindler all right let me see if i have some, let me see if i have some pictures of him all right this thing had me like what in the world is this what is this? This joker is a whole clown, allegedly. 
let me say allegedly. So if you haven't seen it, all right, um, there may be a few spoilers, but it, it, go ahead and, and look, check it out. It, it will, it will have you. It had me with righteous indignation. Do you understand me? I was like, what in the world? What in the world is going on here? And we know that narcissistic Jezebels come in both genders. All right, this was a man. All right, women scammers are just as prevalent, just as dangerous, but men don't speak out about it as much. For every woman, there's another man. All right, for every woman, there's another, there's for every man, there's another woman out here doing perpetrating the same, all right, fraudulent behavior. All right. So if you want the bad girl or the hot, the the bad boy or the hot girl. Oh, don't worry about it, uh, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Satan is about to send you whatever it is that you desire. If you put that thing before God, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Satan's about to send you someone, a nicely packaged narcissist, a devil in a blue dress, all right? A man, all right, built just like you want him, skin just like you want him. Don't worry about it. Satan's going to send that thing right on to you. And if you are unhealed and you don't recognize the red flags, oh, 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 don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's coming. It's coming and for most of us we have already been awakened by who these people are okay so spoiler alert trigger alert all right uh in case you haven't seen it i'm going to talk a little bit about this all right um so let me see so simon lavev his real name is his uh his hebrew name or his israeli name is is uh shaman or shimon uh hayut all right you know how they do they change their names all right, they change their names. They have all kind of IDs and all kind of, they're just some scammers. Do you understand me? Uh, no, he was convicted. So I don't even have to say allegedly. All right, so he is so called the, the tender swindler. All right, this is a documentary, a document, uh, a, a documentary on, um, on uh, Netflix. All right, he is a convicted, he was convicted. So I don't even have to say allegedly because he was convicted of these things. All right, and he used these dating apps, these Tinder, all right, different dating apps to meet multiple uh, women. All right, all right. Then uh, he had these women uh, establish lines of credit. All right, uh, had them take out loans in their names, uh, leaving them holding the cards. All right. Um, and he managed to get away uh, with this for a long time. All right. And what he would do is, uh, you know, scam one 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 uh, woman, well, uh, multiple women, probably all at the same time, at the same dang time. Do you hear me? All right. He would scam them and, and that those women would fund his next uh, you know, main source of supply. And he would take them on trips and, and, and all have them all, you know, doing different things while scamming these women uh, out of money. All right. And then he was, uh, he was convicted in Finland under his name, uh, but continued to carry out uh, his, his scam uh, uh, under his uh, uh, made up name, Simon Lever. All right. And then he did this by claiming to be uh, the son of a wealthy uh, billionaire, um, son of, of Lev, Lev Laviv. All right. So he went around claiming that he was the son of a billionaire. And then he he photoshopped uh, pictures. All right. To make it seem like this man was his father. All right. So uh, he was he was a next level. Let me tell you, he was next level. But this is the things that narcissists do. All right. He was just exposed. Most of them won't be exposed. All right. So um, he followed a pattern. So he would match, you know, when you swipe and right, swipe and left on there, he would swipe left or right. All right. Or and the woman would swipe left and then he would get in there, get in there. What do you call it? Like a DM, the, the back chat or whatever you call it. All right. And then he would he would hook her. All right. By taking her on an expensive first date. All right. That's how they get you with that first date. All right. Um, and, and with one woman, uh, Cicely, this was the woman that um, that is the, the main uh, storyteller at the beginning of the story. All right. He, he whisked her away. I'm not going to give you all the details, but he whisked her away. All right. Now, there was some that was a lot of red flags for me. All right. Um, now, and of course, she's telling this. And of course, they, they only have a certain amount of time to tell the story. But on their first day, the next the next day, he asked her to go out to I think it was Bulgaria or something like that. And he said, send me your passport. So on the first day, he she sent him his uh, her passport. Red flag. 
Brett flag on the play. Do you hear me? Flag on the play. All right. But he was dating uh, all kinds of women. All right. And then um, he would always, you know, build them up and talk about uh, uh, his enemies, his enemies, you know, like he was a wanted when well, he was a wanted man, but he would talk about his enemies. All right. So it, he's really triangulating these women. He's really setting them up for the for the okie doke. All right. And we're going to talk about them. All right. And then he would some, you know, he would send them pictures of his bodyguard to lure them in. All right. And then once they were hooked, once they were secured as a source of supply, once they are hooked as his friend. All right. Then comes the bombshell. I need money. Now, if you are a billionaire son, why you couldn't talk to your daddy? Why you couldn't talk to your daddy? All right, we're going to talk about that. But um, eventually he was sued um, and, and charged and he went on the run. He left Israel at, at 18, I believe he said. And then, you know, that it, it brought us up to modern uh, day times. All right. Um, so eventually uh, Eileen, let me see if I have a picture. Do I have a picture of Eileen in here? Uh, Eileen, I believe, I don't know which one is Eileen. I don't know if she's in the middle of these or other women. Uh, but if you watch it, you'll see, you'll see the different, uh, women, uh, on here. All right. Um, but Eileen was the one that really brought him down. And it sounds so similar, uh, to my own story where we banded together, not to bring him down, but to get justice, to let it, um, my, our stories be told. All right. See, that's why you don't be around here getting into it with the, with the next, with the supply. All right. Because you don't know that next supply, the same thing that is being done to you is being done to her. Do you understand me or to him? All right. So I'm, I'm never that one to, to be arguing and, and fighting back and forth with another woman. I wish I would. I wish I would, because you're both being lied to. You're both being conned. Do you understand me? All right. But some women see I'm a girl's girl. See, I'm a girl's girl, all right? So you can't get me like that, but the narcissist certainly tried. All right, did the narcissist in your life try to triangulate you with somebody? Now, some of them supplies are, are, are ignorant as I don't know what. All right, they're, they're ignorant and they and they are being brainwashed, all right? And a lot of them have Stockholm Syndrome, as a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, us did as well, all right? So how, how, how do they fall for the lies? The same way we did. All right. The same way we did. All right. But he went to jail. He was released. He was convicted. And then um, he went to prison for only five months. All right. And then we'll, you see him living the same so-called lavish lifestyle along with the new uh, person. All right. So the doc, uh, documentary uh, the doc, uh, is called The, Swin the Tender uh, Swindler. And he's scamming women's women out of million dollars of debt all right or, or putting them in million dollars of debt all right um uh and that now the women have a gofundme to raise over eight hundred thousand dollars for their debt all right and and of course he is counter counteracting that as well all right um you know he's saying that they were just gold diggers um you know and of course people online are ignorant you know a lot of them say well you know, well, they're stupid, they're this, and, and they didn't make wise choices, but neither did we. If we did, we wouldn't have ended up with a narcissist, all right? So just because they were taken at a much level, another level, all right, um, which they were. Some of the things that they did, I was just, I was talking, I was screaming at my screen, like, girl, if you, if you, where is your mama? That's what I was like, where is your mother? Where are the people in your life like? But you can't stop something. You can't stop a woman in love. You can't stop a fool in love. Do you understand me? And we've all played the fool sometime. Do you hear me? All right. So Simon is a scammer. He is a con artist. All right. That's not even allegedly. All right. But the story is told in a very, um, oh, it, it reels you in. I was watching it while I was working out this morning um, when Mina told me about it and Carmen told me about it. And I was just like, oh, my. Goodness, what is this? I have righteous indignation. Do you hear me? All right. So there is a part of their game. All right. So he lured his his so-called friend and uh girlfriends into this trap. And I told you on my last message, all right, all you have to do is appeal to a woman's emotions and she'll give you anything. All right. When you are unhealed, you will, you will, and even when you're healed, but if you appeal to a person's emotions and you think that this person is who they say they are. All right. Um, this is why we have to test the spirit. All right. This is why we have to understand who people 
um, discern who people really are. Even when we date, we go into workplaces, we go into churches. All right. We must use discernment because the narcissist is always on their game always all right but if you're the more you heal all right uh self-love and self-worth are kryptonite to a narcissist do you understand me all right so now that we know we are awakened they didn't know at the time now they are awakened they learned some very expensive lessons and that's why i'm talking about this because god doesn't want any of us to be duped by a wolf in sheep's clothing all right these narcissists masquerade as angels of light when they come to kill steal and destroy you from the inside out so there's no victim blaming but we must take account so we don't date for potential all right if you over the age of 25 and you still dating for potential oh sister oh brother oh brother we are much too grown for that it has to be some fruit do you understand me there has to be something going on in that person's life do you understand me so this story follows uh sicily eileen and pernilla Pernilla, all right, as they set to track this man uh, down, all right, um, and, and to, you know, to tell their story, which they should because it's their story to tell. Now, he is calling them gold diggers, but they had their own. He didn't. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. But that's that's the thing that a narcissist does. They'll say, oh, you know, he's calling them bitter. How many of you have been called bitter or angry? That, I'm sure the narcissists in my life, um, all of them, from my family to the sociopath, I'm sure all of, oh, she's bitter. Oh, she just can't forgive. Oh, she just can't go on. And those are the things that they say. Oh, uh, you know, oh, she's just angry. Man, have you ch have you checked my life? You better check my life. Ain't nobody thinking about y'all like that. Do you understand me? My life has been great since I got since I got rid of the narcissist. Sounding like a guy coke commercial. I saved thousands of dollars by switching to no contact. Do you hear me? All right, and you will too. Get that narcissist out of your life. Get those narcissists out of your life and see how your life begins to flourish. Talking about somebody bitter. Talking about somebody want him. No, nobody wants you, raggedy narcissist raggedy narcissistic dusty demon do you understand me so the narcissist game all right and then they um the ftc all right federal what is it federal trade commission all right um you know a lot of people report different scams and you can subscribe i know i used to be subscribed to them all right um, um when i went through a, a scam at one time somebody tried to scam me all right, and I did report it to the FTC. You can do that um, as well. Not that anything is going to happen, but if enough people, um, you know, report certain things, then then they supposedly will look into it. I made a police report. Make sure you make a police report. But I'm going to talk about preventive measures and counteractive measures if you have been um, um, taken advantage of as well. All right, so when COVID came, a lot of people began dating online because we were all in the house, right? So meeting people online and in clubhouse and on different you know, sites became a way to meet new people. You know what I mean? So uh, online, the, the scams and the FTC um, began to re report higher, much higher numbers of, uh, of online dating scams, all right, of online romantic scams, people sending uh, people money. Don't you know these narcissists will, well, I told you this um, in the dating workshop, right? They, if you miss my workshop, I may put it back on on uh, on my website or something i may um put the presentation all right because in there we talked about tools we talked about techniques we talked about um, um online uh dating scams we talked about apps that can be used to make sure that you're safe all right if something happens to you all right we talked about all of that so there's some things that you need to do to make sure that you protect yourself whether you're dating online or, or meeting people out here in these streets all right people be like well i don't date online oh you can meet a narcissist at your church you can meet a narcissist at your work. You can meet a narcissist on the on the corner. So don't make just because you don't date online as if you can't be taken. All right. Ask somebody. A lot of people met narcissists right there in their church. Do you understand me? All right. So Simon grew up in Tel Aviv, Israel. His father was a rabbi. I saw his mother. I think that was his mother on the on the um, uh, on Netflix. All right. But narcissists make their lives up as they go along. This man is a career criminal. All right. He had like a Rolls Royce phantom. He would pick up these women. All right. Not knowing the next woman was funding uh, that Rolls Royce. Imagine that. 
And that's what they do. The same when you give narcissists money, they are using it to secure their next form of supply. You better believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it. All right. So he had jets, clothing. All right. He had the cars. He had the jets. All right. All right. And these women were were it seems like well-to-do women. So when you're a well-to-do woman, you want a well-to-do man. There's nothing wrong with that. See, people who don't have anything will be quick to call somebody a gold digger. Just say you can't afford her. If you can't afford her, if you can't afford her lifestyle, just leave her alone. Just leave her alone because a man should be able to provide. As far as I'm concerned, you should be able uh, to protect, to provide. Do you understand me? So if you're not on her level financially, you know, now that's her choice. That's her choice to 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 date you if she wants to to date you. But um, as far as I'm concerned, a man should be able to provide the the same lifestyle. Now, if you don't have it, you a hood booger. Don't be want, don't be trying to get somebody in a jet. All right, you 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 overweight. Don't be trying to get somebody who is who is toned and trim. Y'all from two different, not kingdoms. Y'all y'all live two different lifestyles. All right, so people want what they aren't. But if you are that, you should have that. As far as I'm concerned. All right, now sometimes a man will help a woman level up. Now when a woman does that, usually usually you you build you try to build a man. It don't. It's not gonna work in your favor. That that's that's not you know. It, Try building them in to see what happens to him, especially a narcissist. Do you understand me? So he had the cars, he had the the uh the private jets, all right. He had the the lavish lifestyle. He wore the Gucci clothes, the Gucci socks, the Gucci belt. All right. He whisked them away in private jets, but they didn't know that they are rentals. He had an entourage there behind him. All right. His his bodyguard. All right. You don't know that these people are enablers or they don't know themselves. All right. So we don't know. So these people are painting um, a picture even on Netflix. Um, you know, and I and I guess, you know, um, they can't just come out right and say that this person's a narcissist, you know, that you can't supposedly do that, right? You can't just say that, but you have to point to the signs. And e all of us who have been through this, we can clearly recognize that this person is not is a narcissist, a full blown socio or psychopath. Sociopath sounds like all right, but he's very he's very um high level, all right, and and paints himself as a high value man. All right, these high these supposedly high value men are, are can be scum of the earth as well. Don't let somebody fool you because they work Gucci, all right, because they have Dior. Do you understand me? All right, they can be uh, just as big uh, as as much of a scammer, all right, as a as a as a broke one as a, as a low level dusty all right a dusty has no demographics all right just because he has on gucci down to the socks then he'll scam your socks right off of you do you understand that or she will do the same thing all right so this man is highly uh psychotic and psychopathic i listened to uh some of the voice memos that he was leaving on the woman's phone when he couldn't get to the money. Don't you know those those demons will manifest? All right, those demons were manifesting and he sounded cold and heartless and he left threatening messages on her voicemail and on her, at her mother's phone. All right, when she realized, um, uh, uh, when she realized that he had her her, her mother's uh, number and her passport, see that's when you become scared because now you've given them all your information and you have little on them. See, she, see, they know all about your past because you talk too much. They know all of, about you and where to find you and where to find your mother and where to find your family, and you don't know anything about them. That's dangerous. Do you understand me? When you have a lot to lose, you better make sure that you under you better make sure that you you check that person's. Uh, facts all right and by facts i mean fruit they understand me all right but a lot of times narcissists will do that they'll uh ingrain you into your or want to be in your circle while you know little about their circle now check that check that check that and sometimes some of them are so psychotic they'll bring you around their mother and father they'll bring you around their parents they'll bring you around their sister because they all in on it they're all in on it they're just as bad as he or she is. Do you understand me? But he has no, um, no remorse, no empathy, no, I'm sorry, not, none of that. All right. All right. And then I'll link uh, a few videos um, uh, in the comments as well. Okay. I'll link the videos where, where he, he really lost it when she tells him no, or when she, when she wasn't answering his, his many calls, his demons truly begin to manifest and that mass fail. 
All right. So lack of the signs of a narcissist, we already know. Lack of empathy, no remorse. All right. Wants to live a grandiose uh, lifestyle. All right. Has fantasies of unlimited success and power. All right. Wants to control everything, wants to dominate and is willing to lie, cheat, steal. All right. Whatever they need to do in order to fool you. All right. And the way he spoke to her was alarming and disturbing. Do you hear me? And for those of us who have walked in her shoes, we are all too familiar with the Jekyll and Hyde persona. Have you seen the mask slip? Have you seen the black eyes? Have you heard the ice cold voice? Do you, have you seen their lack of affection? Have you seen it? It ain't nothing like it. Do you hear me? It's nothing like it. When you, when you, when this person goes from the love bombing to the devaluation and the discard phase, oh, you're going to see the duality of it all. All right. And then he had other people in it as well. All right. Of course, there's always a forever supply. All right. There's, we, we talked about that. All right. The forever supply who would do anything for the narcissist because they benefit some way. All right. And usually this is a mother. This is a friend. All right. A long-term friend who will befriend you. This is a, uh, and, and with us women, this is his baby's mother. All right. They'll befriend you or they won't like you. One of the two, but they'll act like in some cases I've seen it. They act like the narcissist is so kind and warm hearted. When you first meet, don't, don't even fall for it. They're in on it too. All right, they're in on it too. We don't diagnose, but we do discern. I discern a forever supply. Do you understand that? So that man is downright dangerous and he'll go on to fool others. That's the sad part about that. All right, so these women swipe right and their lives change forever. It went to the left, to the left. Do you hear me? It's a track. When I was watching that, I was like, no, girl, it's a setup. I was like, Ricky, no, like boys in the hood. I was like, no, stop, stop, stop. Girl, stop and think. Look, I was talking to the screen like, no, like, no, stop it. But red flag after red flag. But when you are unhealed, those red flags look like green lights. And what they do is narcissists bombard your senses. Watch when people rush you. Send me this. Send me this. Oh, do this. Do this. Hurry up. Hurry up and do it now. Watch that when people do that to you. Watch that. Because they're trying to um, bombard your senses where you don't have time to think. See, somebody who is who um, now covert, so they'll take your time. But usually narcissists rush you because they don't want you to think. So this is why they'll call you with fake emergencies, fake situations. Oh, hurry up. Oh, I need I need some money. Oh, ask me how I know. All right. A family member used to do this all the time. Oh, say I need gas. Oh, oh my kids. Oh, oh, it's always something. All right. So they'll create these fake situations. And I, and then I remember the narcissist, the witch that's on Clubhouse acting like she is a victim of 33 years. She's really a witch. All right. But uh, this person it was would call and, oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. And see, by the end, I had wisened up. I'm like, you ain't got to draw me into your drama. And then the other, her, her little crummies, all right, her little followers, they do the same thing. Act sweet as pie. Oh, sister, I love you. But there's always some drama in their life. Oh, there's bugs outside my house. There's a bird that flew in my house. There's all these things. All oh, the witches, the warlocks are on my porch. Like it's always an emergency with them. And not to say those things can't happen, but it's always something. It's always something. So they create these situations, these fictional situations to get you worked up and tied into their drama. Do you understand me? All right. So And, and then most billionaires are not on Tinder swiping. Billionaires, they meet people in their billionaire circle. Do you understand me? Don't you know that? All right. If, if you're the son of a diamond tycoon, you are not on Tinder. Do you understand me? Tinder is for us mere mortals, all us regular folks. Do you understand me? But there was so much danger in her sending him uh, his his passport. All right, sending her, um, sending him her passport. That's so now he he has all of your. He can find all of your information, and you have nothing. So that's just like remember on set it off, and Cleo had um, the girls. What did she have? Her driver's license. She was like it was a little insurance. See, narcissists will always find something on you. That's why they're always digging through your emails and digging through your personal belongings and digging through your personal effects. They're trying to find a little 
narc insurance on you. They're trying to make sure that they have something on you. All right. So if you decide to expose them, they have a little narc insurance to keep you fearful of them. All right. And then when you are with a narcissistic scammer, most things are going to be in your name. Hello, because their credit is shot. All right. Their credit is shot. They, they don't have uh, good credit. All right. Um, and typically, uh, they, you know, their money is low. All right. And now for the wealthy ones, you know, they, they have, un, you know, unlimited resources, but they're usually in on some kind of Ponzi scams or something like that. All right. But they, if you're rich, why you need my money? If you are rich, if you are a billionaire, why do you need my money? I, I'll be doggone. All right. But he got these women to, to give him millions of dollars by pretending to, to be their friend, by love bombing them. This was the ultimate love bomb. All right. And then he narcissists always have plausible deniability. I have said this even about my family. They do things where everything can be explained away. It's always a way out for a narcissist. Oh, but this is why. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you bring up something they did. And if they're taught, you know, during that smear campaign, it's always something, some kind of way that it can be explained away. And to the average person who doesn't know about narcissists, they will be fooled because they don't understand the mind of a narcissist and how a narcissist uses plausible deniability to get out of any situation. So with this, he just made sure that he could say it was just a gift. Oh, this was a gift that they, you know, this is the money that they gave to me. This was a gift. And narcissists are very good at this. All right. So these people didn't just start scamming, even the narcissists in your life. All right. They didn't just start scamming with you. All right. No, 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 no. There is a trail of tears. Do you understand me? And most people don't realize the patterns. All right. This is a big old puzzle. And most people do not connect the dots. I knew when I was, um, you know, with my uh, case with the uh, domestic violence and the abuse, it was God showed me the patterns and, and it was showing me how to connect the dots. You have to be able to connect the dots. It's never just you. It's never just an isolated case. All right. So this is a pattern. This is how these people go through life. All right. These are people who, who, you know, these people who work in, not all of them, but a lot of people who worked in crypto and, and Ponzi scams. My poor dad in Africa send the money to the village. Oh, my emergency. Oh, I need to get back to the, to Iceland or, or Europe or, or, you know, Finland, you know, it's always some kind of a uh, thing that they need your money for some kind of emergency, but this is how they go through life. All right. Do you hear me? So what are some, some, uh, practical tips? All right. Before we get out of here, don't share too much information, especially too soon. All right. Don't be thirsty out here in these streets. Do you understand me? When you are thirsty for a relationship, thirsty for companionship, thirsty for a friend, thirsty for partnerships, you'll drink from anyone's well. Do you understand me? Anybody that shows you a little piece of attention, all right, then you'll be smiling and giggling and sniggling. No, 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 no. Check the facts. All right. And then stop living under a rock in a cave. You got to know what's going on in the world around you. When you live isolated, this is by design. And narcissists love isolating you. They love when you don't know what's going on in the world. As much as I am not in the world, uh, I, I, I am um, of the kingdom of heaven. I keep my ear to the the ground i need to know what's going on all right what is what how what is the next scam how are these narcissists out here all right what is going on all right you need to know what's going on out here because catfishing is at an all-time high and it's not just people that you're dating online it's all over all right we are in end times all right and these narcissists are out here satan as is an accuser all right and he has sent his his army of narcissistic jezebelic demons we live under a narcissistic jezebelic principality ruling reigning spirit do you understand me and these people are out to kill steal and destroy all right they know that their time is short and so they must lay it on thick do you understand me to deceive all right god's chosen even the very elect may be deceived do you understand me so his not love bombing was next level all right he was talking about you know have my babies i want you to have my babies oh you can get a woman with that i want you to have my babies all right you're gonna be my forever heart emoji heart they be getting y'all with them heart emojis don't they They be getting you up honey baby 
oh, sweetheart, oh, you know, because we just want to be chosen. We just want to be chosen, all right? I told you, when you got that 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 spirit of rejection, you just want to be chosen, all right? You just want to be validated and you're, you're a sitting duck. All right, you all pray to a narcissist, or do you understand me? So the narcissist, when you are vulnerable, the narcissist are going to sell you pipe dreams and deliver an absolute nightmare. All right, and this woman, uh, the main one, uh, Sicily, uh, I think her name was, the one with the C. All right, she checked herself into a psych ward after having suicidal thoughts. Some of y'all are having suicidal thoughts. Uh -uh, we bind up that spirit of suicide right now in the name of Jesus and command it to go. Hallelujah. All right, no woman or man, you can live without that woman or man. I don't care if y'all been to, he's your first, your last, your everything. She's your so-called everything. This is why you don't make a person your everything, not even your husband, not even your children. Do you understand me? No, your world should not revolve around a person in human flesh. Don't you understand me? Because this flesh is always willing. Do you understand me? If you put God in his rightful place, you don't have to worry about when somebody leaves you. Don't you know anybody can leave you at any time? All right, and you can't fall apart. All right. If you fall apart, you got to be able to get back up. You may fall down, but you don't fall apart. Do you understand me? Your world still goes on because God is your first, your last, your everything. You put God in his rightful place and you because God will never leave you or forsake you. But when you put a man or a woman in God's place, oh, you will have some suicidal thoughts. Do you understand me? And that's what that narcissist comes to do. It, that narcissist wants you to be so ashamed. All right. Feel like you are going down so deep that you are beyond a uh, repair that you are in despair. That is what that narcissist uh, wants. Now, I don't know anything about those uh, that suicidal life. Thank God. But the narcissist will bring you to the edge in the, of insanity, the brink of insanity. And it's all designed to break you. That is their purpose. All right. And if you fall in love with a demon, those demons will try to take you out of here. Do you understand me? So that's their purpose. You having suicidal thoughts. All right. You feeling worthless. All right. You feeling like you're in too deep. I don't know what to do. No, you look up. You look up towards the heaven from whence comes your help. All right. They want you so bogged down by the shame of what you have gone through. Nobody loves you. Nobody will want you. Oh, uh, you know, and they will fill you with STD, sexually transmitted diseases and sexual transmitted demons. All right. But there is a help. And I'm going to talk about that at the end. But don't give them your information. Do you understand that? All right. Especially when you're on these apps, stay on the apps. If you go to a to an alternative app or you meet them, make sure you meet them in the daytime at a public place place all right or you let some if you go at night tell somebody of your location don't be going to their house the first few times that you meet them you need to learn this person before you're inviting their spirit into their into your home or going to their home all right but the narcissist is going to appeal to your emotions all right i know that's how the narcissist got me that sociopath he was on the phone the, the first few times i called him uh, or we talked all right oh well, yeah my mama did hear me and i'm like oh his mother hurt him. His mother hurt him, not knowing that he was taking me for a con. He was taking me for a ride because he was a con artist. All right. So he was appealing to my empathy. He was appealing to my emotions because he had none. All right. So watch for people when you meet them, they try to bring you into their sob story. See, this is why we even have to be uh, uh, vigilant, even in this community, because everybody is not a victim. Everybody is not telling the truth about their story. Some people are good at playing the victim when they are actually are the perpetrators of the abuse do you hear me all right we have a lot of those in this i'm going to talk about that at the end all right but and then stop watching these rom-coms see jennifer anderson jennifer Lopez, all these people got you fooled in hollywood you think you a disney princess you are waiting for somebody to rescue you here is a news flash no one is coming to rescue you no one is coming to rescue you all right see when you are emotionally starved and you've been emotionally neglected all right even if you so-called have a good relationship with your parents you know what i mean oh watch that thing there's some kind of deficit there's some kind of emotional uh the narcissist is able to appeal to your emotions in some kind of way all right so this is not a rom-com no one is coming to save you only god can save you 
from this. Only God can heal your heart from that emotional wound inside of you, that trauma that you haven't examined, all right? All right, and then don't send people money, people you just met and now they're already asking for money. Now, every situation will be different, all right, but somebody that asks you for money straight away, all right, all right, and, and you don't know the backstory, you don't know what's going on and, and you know what I mean, uh -uh, why check that, all right? And he was smart, he asked for smaller amounts up front. And then he paid that back with some. And then, you know, once they he paid them back, then he would come back and ask for more. That's, he's a smart con artist. All right. And then remember, you are no one savior. Even if your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you are not obligated to say yes. You can't say no if it makes you uncomfortable. Do you understand me? But see, these people, see, this is how he got them. He got them to, oh, you're my girlfriend. He put a title on them. So they felt as if they should, um, you know, that they, they it was an obligation. Well, this is my man. This is my man, and I'm going to stick beside him. Man. Isn't that what we say? Let me find him. This is my man, and I'm going to stick beside him. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. This is my man right here. This is my man and I'm going to stick beside him. No, you got to watch that because they'll put you on an emotional roller coaster. And you'll be on that ride all by yourself. Do you understand me? All right. So a real one, a real one. So y'all remember like the, um, what's it like uh, the Italian movies? All right. Like um, the Goodfellas and things like that. A lot of times they wouldn't even bring that. Their wife wouldn't even know what was going on that they knew, but they didn't know the details. All right. Uh, a real one ain't going to bring that to your door. Do you understand me? All right. A real one is not going to bring involve you in their mess. Do you understand me? But he did that old Bonnie and Clyde Tupac routine. It's me and you against the world, baby. It's me and you against the world. Don't you know that that is done by design? He was always talking about my enemies my enemies yo why you have so many enemies why you have but he would tell them because he was in the in the um uh, in the diamond business and and these people were were after him now nah, somebody after you you know what, what am i what am i gonna do see see that's that foolishness no a man is supposed to protect you not the other way around you're not supposed to be out here protecting a man now would you see some of these women would take a bullet now nah, mm -hmm. No, nah, you the man. That's that's your job. You know, mm -mm, I'm not self sacrificing myself. All right. Uh, but he he pulled that old Bonnie and Clyde routine. All right, me and you against the world. Me and you against my enemies. How do you in mind? Oh, we. They start sounding French. We 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 we. It's me. It's we. It's me. They're after us. A us. Us. How did us get into this? And they not my enemies. But see, when you were codependent, your his enemies become your enemies. You know, and, and you ain't this ain't even. I'm not talking about a husband or wife. I'm talking about a boyfriend or girlfriend. Nah, nah, uh, one or two months. Now they my enemies. Oh no, no, no. But and then he did the same game with them all, right? He did the same game with them all. All right. He uh he sent them all the same message. See, you can't think that you're the only one. I'm the only one. No, he sent them the same. Good morning, sweetheart. I love you, heart emoji. I love you. All right, don't think that the women don't do this because the women will run some game on you, brothers. Do you understand me? Have you thinking that that you're the only one when you're one of many? No, uh -uh, you're not the only one because narcissists uh, uh, compartmentalize very well. I used to wonder that. I was like, how did... How did the sociopath, how did they remember all the names? But then when I saw on his phone, he had, he like in his notes, he had different things, you know, about uh, different women in there. You know what I mean? So they had their own little system. And then the demons feed them knowledge. You know, the demons feed them knowledge. They're, some of them are not that smart, but the demons make them smarter. All right. Um, and tell them what to do. That's why they like them. They they love their demons. All right. Yes, they do. They don't want to get rid of them. Don't ask them if they can change. No, they, they're not changing. Yours is not changing either. They don't want to change. All right. They feel like they're special. All right. They and, and then this man was poor growing up. He lived a very different lifestyle than the one that he portrayed. And that's what they do. All right. So they compartmentalize very well today. When they're with you, you the only one for that second. For, for that split second. And then, then, you know, when they're done with you for that, for that five minutes or whatever, then they're on to the next one. It's, it's whoever 
uh, gives them supply, the greatest amount of supply. And I was like, how can he remember all these names? That's some next level psychopathy. That's some next level narcissist. All right. And the, uh, I already talked about don't put too much information out online. Oh, no, I didn't. Don't put too much information out online. Some people put their kids. Hey, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I don't put my kids in my location and all that until if I put a picture of my vacation, I already came back. I already came back and everything. You you ain't going to mm -mm. I already came back and everything. I practice OPSEC. They taught they taught us about OPSEC in the military. All right, operational security. So it's easy. You gonna make you gonna make it easy. Now I ain't gonna make it easy for you. I'm not gonna make it easy for you. All right. If I if there's a location on there, I've already left from there. All right, I've already left. I've been been gone from there. Mm -mm. My vacation pics get posted after I come back from a vacation. Do you understand me? So don't make it easy. How, this is how you think that people like Pop Smoke and Chris, don't you ever wonder, like, how do their houses always get broke into? All right. How? Why is it? Why is somebody? It's always somebody from the inside. It's always somebody that they know. All right. If an in, if an outsider knows your business, it's because an insider told them. Do you understand me? So the rom coms. Let me hit this again. No, this is no fairy tale. No, with somebody she she he was able to whisk her out of. I don't know if it was, it was country, right? Whisk, whisk her out of the country. And this day and age, the first day you meet them, mm -mm, y'all watching too much Pretty Woman. Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, too much Fifty Shades of Grey, too much IG, all right, too much Tyler Perry, all right, thinking a rich man or woman is about to change your life. No, you might have to get it out the mud, all right, you might have to invest in yourself. You might, you're going to have to depend on the Holy Spirit. You have to depend on God to make a way out of no way. No one is your savior and you're no one's savior, all right, date God, date God, put men Putting men and women over God never works out. You'll run straight into a narcissist. Whenever you're outside of the will of God, don't worry about it, sweetheart. You're going to run right into a narcissist. All right. And these people were, were um, you know, didn't, I didn't see any, any evidence of, of God and Holy Spirit or none of that, which is common. Because even if people do go, you know, they think because they go to church that they are saved. They think that they are born again. They think that they will make it in. Um, you know, so it, it doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me because the, the four wall church does the ex exact same thing that the world does. All right. But that relationship moved way too fast. They look successful from the outside, but these women were funding his lifestyle. And he got the nerve to call them gold diggers. I don't, what is a man? You a jiggle. What is a gigolo Casanova wannabe, whatever you are. All right. Um, so yes, all right, and then that feeling, oh, that future faking was off the charts. The future faking in there was off the charts. I was like, oh my goodness, this man is good. Actually, he wasn't even, he wasn't, oh, I don't know if he was that good. If they was, I don't know, it might have been a combination of both. But that feeling when you realize that you have been scammed and conned and duped, Y'all ain't nothing like it. Do you remember that? Put that in the comments. Do you remember the feeling of when you first realized that you were be that you had been taken for a ride? Oh, that that's a bad feeling, y'all. When you realize it is all a lie, like your mind is trying. This is why you have to allow yourself time to grieve the relationship before you get into something else. All right, because um, your brain needs to process what you have been through. All right. Your brain needs to process everything that you have been through. And it cannot do that if you are jumping from one man's bed to the next, from one sister's bed to the next. You're not giving yourself time to heal. Now you got all these soul ties. Now you walk around suicidal and schizophrenic because you because your your soul tied with so many people, your soul tied with the people who you haven't even slept with because you slept with a narcissist. All right. And you haven't severed the soul ties. I have so many videos. That is your first step after you get out of a relationship to repent, renounce. All right. And sever those soul ties. 
All right. So you can begin to heal spiritually and then you handle that thing psychologically and emotionally and physiologically. All right. Then you handle that thing that way. But spiritual, you need to tie up those soul ties. All right. And people be like, well, they were stupid. Well, somebody could say the same thing about you and I. All right. So we have to be careful when we're calling people stupid. Now, was this off the charts? This was some off the charts fakery and buffoonery. Do you understand me? This was this was something. This was something, but they were love bombed. They were conned. They were scammed. They were hoodwinked. They were led astray. And they certainly were bamboozled. All right. Now I think, I think these women are brave. Most women do, or most women and men, men certainly don't. Men don't. I wish more men, men would get in Alan B's clubhouse. All right. And, and come on, Solomon's not. I wish more men would do that. All right. But, but men certainly do not come forward. For various reasons but that hurts other people and i told you when i was going through this i realized that i was going to do everything in my might and god enabled me to be able to do that i left no stone unturned because if a woman looked this person up i was like well at least she's going to know that i did everything that i could to help her from being hurt. I don't care if I don't know her. I don't care if she hates me because I was the old supply and she's the new supply and she's being brainwashed. Sooner or later, she's going to have to awaken. Sooner or later, they're going to have to awaken. Do you hear me? And I don't want to, not on my watch. Uh-uh, uh-uh, because you're going to be held accountable for what you don't say and what you what you enable. Do you understand me? And I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Lord, I will speak up. I will say what you want me to say. Heavenly Father, I will do what I have to do uh, uh, for someone else not to be hurt. And if that means that, that I have to step outside of my comfort zone, and by that means that I need to speak up and speak out, so be it. All right, so be it. So be it. I'm not selfish. Do you hear me? All right. So no more ride or dies. No more ride or dies. Sisters, no more providing for me. No, that's not your role. You're out of out, out of order. Ask God to bring you bring you back into alignment. All right. And then realize you're not anybody's mama. Brothers, you're not their daddies. That everybody has to work out our own issues. Do you hear me? All right. No, I'm not your mama. No one is coming to rescue you. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? But these people will future fake your socks off. And then you have to understand that trust is earned. Do you understand me? Trust is earned. Watch the emergencies. Watch the talking about the enemies, the triangulation, uh, you know, triangulating you, all right? Talking down on you, all right? Uh, Upholding, uplifting someone else, putting someone else on a pedestal. That is to make you jealous of that person, all right, and then you'll be mad if you're foolish. You'll be mad with somebody who doesn't even know you exist. Do you understand me? Because they've triangulated you and you fell for the con. Now you're out of it. Now you're falling for another con. All right. All right. But be careful somebody who is trying to make their enemies your enemies. All right. So like I said, even in this community, you have to be careful. Everybody's not a victim. Some people are have, have played the, the role very well. All right. So and, and this man, especially one with with supposed well, he's supposed to have a network. You you better exhaust your whole team before you come to me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Oh, well, I'm his woman. Mm, mm, mm. And he's supposed to be wealthy, too. No, nah, you supposed to have things set up for this when you can't get to your money. You but you supposed to have some offshore accounts or, or something. No, you but was that bodyguard, you know, your mama, your daddy before you come to me. Oh, he can't talk to anybody. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I don't know. He better go talk to somebody else before he come talking to me. Do you understand that? All right. So when we don't know our worth and we think that we are the providers as women, a low level narcissistic mama's boy will try to make you the provider. Do you understand me? All right. And same th with the men, men are, are supposed to be the providers, but you don't let anybody scam you and con you. All right. We all must awaken. All right. And the sad part of this, more women will date this man, even if they know who he is, because they want to be special and they want to be the one to change him. And that love can, I can change him. I can change him. I can change him. Now, these are the same twisted, sick women who have sympathy for serial killers and date men in prison. Oh, the pygmies. These are pygmies. All right. And I told y'all one person I cannot stand is a narc 
super sympathizer. All right. They are dangerous. And these are not the type of women and men that I want in my circle. They will sell you out for a piece of a man. A piece of a man is better than no man. I was earning my man while well, I was learning my man. It's something your young girls don't understand. No pain. Oh, yes. They, they, no pain, no gain. They love it. All right. All right. A piece of a man is better. And I probably got them songs. You all know about Betty Wright and Shirley Murnau. See, they, back in my day, see, they told you as we lay, they made it cool to be the side chick. That was cool. No, it ain't cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. All right. So I don't, I cannot stand narc sympathizers. I cannot stand it. I cannot stand narc sympathizers. They are dangerous and not the type of people that I want to be around. All right. So don't ever come in my comments or on my channel defending any narcissists, any self-aware narcissists, any narcissists, because you are part of the problem, not the solution. All right. Pick a side, you double-minded so-called empath. You are a narc sympathizer and you are the type of woman that was in that video all right, with him, she knew who he was, but and I think I don't know, if she, and I haven't watched the end, so I don't know. I think she had sued him, but she knew who this one man was when that lady was on the plane with her watching, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so there's always somebody who knows that this person is a con artist who knows about them, but later on, they're able to smooth them because that's the fear ever supply, which is typically his baby's mama, or her baby, her baby's father. All right, they always have some kind of weird. Uh, a soft spot for for a narcissist all right and and they will do things um for them no matter what because uh, that's my children's father mm -hmm. mm. all right so you know this man has hurt other women but but because he didn't hurt you or because you got away so you sit at his feet and you allure other women into the trap it's always a an enabling person so to me, you are just as disgusting and unhealed as this man. All right. You got to realize that this is a puzzle. All right. There are so many more victims than the ones that spoke out. And this is why I will never support self-aware narcissists. All right. These people are master manipulators. They have a, can you imagine their trail of tears, the women and the men that they have, have, have perverted and left behind. All right. Can you imagine? And so for you, of those of you who follow self-aware narcissists, can you imagine if the narcissist in your life started a YouTube channel or a TikTok channel saying they want to help survivors and you know how they treat you still to this day behind closed doors and now millions of people are giving your the narcissist in your life uh the narcissist who was in your life narcissistic supply my support always is and will be for survivors for so for these women we believe you for you who have been uh uh, uh taken by narcissists conned by narcissists we believe you but don't tag me in no self-aware video from a self-aware narcissist all right i don't care how right they are i will not sit at the devil's feet to learn about satan do you understand me you are unhealthy and unhealed empath and you are just as healthy unhealthy as a narcissist you this is one piece in their pub puzzle of abuse deceit and con artistry all right so now this man can turn himself and package himself as a self-aware narcissist and millions of silly women will follow his page millions of men and women will follow his page to sit at his feet and i wouldn't be surprised if this is the route that he goes because lots of men and uh, self-aware narcissists are doing that that is the thing to do these days so my heart and support goes out to anyone affected by narcissists anyone con by a con man or a con woman we've all been there before and it's not a good Good feeling do you understand me all right this is why i keep my look i keep my folder full of documents so when dateline calls all i gotta do is hand them the disc in the folder do you understand me when another woman calls me i'll gladly help her do you understand me but i can't stand narc sympathizers because this is why the narcissist is able to keep or how are they keep on able to do this because one people don't care if, if it's not them, if it's not the narcissist that is in their life, they don't care. And that is the wrong attitude to help. And instead of making the channels that are by, by survivors and victims popular, they go sit at the feet of Satan. They go sit at the feet of a, a self-aware narcissist. And this is how the abuse cycle gets perpetrated. Can you imagine being one of their victims? 
uh, for self-aware narcissist, and I'm, I'm hitting him for just a second. Can you imagine being a victim of or a target of them, and they're on the on the news act or the TV acting as if they have changed when you know goodness well that they haven't. All right, and because it's not you, you don't care, and you want to defend them. Don't get in my comments. Don't come on my live. Don't get in my comments defending a self-aware narcissist. Do you understand me? I don't want to hear why you support them. I don't want to hear it. All right, because this is how people like uh, uh, Simon and this is how people who are abusive get away with doing what they do because there's always some some sorry empath poser or narc sympathizer. All right, to and, and, and an enabler to help them out do what they do. They wouldn't be able to do what they do without an Ahab. There can be no Jezebel and you are part of the problem. All right. So and then empath, stop hiding. Survivors, stop hiding. Do you understand me? It's not just about you and going on with your life. All right. Your story is a testimony. God is able to make your mess into a message. All right. He is able to do that. But in order to do that, all right, you have to get out of that shame. All right. We already talked about the do's and don'ts. Yes, you have to get out of that shame. All right. Get out of that shame. At fools come a dime a dozen and everybody plays the fool sometimes. Do you understand me? You're going to have to kill that ego. All right. Yes, it hurts. It's, it, it hurts our pride. It, it, it hurts when we're rejected. It hurts when we're discarded. It hurts when we have to leave somebody that we love when we realize that it was all a lie and it was all a lie. Watch my video on it was all a lie. That will help you. Yes, it was all a lie. All right. And then understand even if you speak out, uh, justice will not happen how and when we think. And I knew this was the risk, but it was a risk and I, and I would do it over again. It hurt, it hurt, it hurt. And I know it hurt these women to think that this man only spent what, I don't know how much time total, but the last thing I think was five months or however long it was. But one thing about it, all right, this world's justice is not like God's justice. He may have gotten away he may have seemed like he got away scot-free. Oh, but don't you know, God is exposing that thing right now for a reason. If God will expose that thing in due season, do you understand me? And when he steps in, there's no justice like God's justice. Do you hear me? God has to step in some of these people in some of these cases, a lot of these cases, a lot of these cases, it will not happen. All right. It won't happen when you want it, but you could, you still uh, petition the courts of heaven. You still, all right, petition the courts of heaven. You still see God for justice. You still cry out. It's not going to happen, but God's going to redeem your name, even if it's years later. All right. And when you go on and you heal, that's usually when you, when it happens, when you take your hands off of it, when you forgive that person and go on. And that doesn't mean reconciliation. We ain't no fools over here. We're saved, but we're not soft. Do you understand me? So nobody is saying that you got to let them into your life. But forgiveness, uh, unforgiveness is a ley line. All right. And I know I've seen, I see people on Instagram all the time. Saying that you don't have to forgive the narcissist. No, you don't. You don't. But if you are a believer, untie that ley line because that's all it is. But you do things uh, according to how you feel and you won't be free. I can tell you that you'll be you will be mad and bitter if you hold on to that. So where is he now? All right. Simon is not going to stop. He's not going to change. Narcissists don't change. They just rebrand themselves and repackage themselves. And that's exactly like these self-aware narcissists. That's all they do. He may do something similar. All right. Uh, they change their victims, but that's about it. They learn to hide better. They learn to manipulate you better. He was He's back on IG, um, supposedly. All right. Um, he spent five months in, in Israel. All right. Now he's a supposed business coach. All right. Um, he's been banned from Tinder as far as I know. All right. And like I say, he's claiming the women are bitter, hurt and angry. And he's claiming to, to um, sue Netflix. All right. Um, OK, he was sentenced. He was arrested and, and convicted in Finland in 2015 on charges of defrauding. Three women served two years in prison. OK, that was in 2015, in December of 2019. He was sent. OK, so this is what it was. OK, so he did serve two years in 2015 uh, in Finland in December 2019. He was also sentenced to 15 months in prison in Israel after twice fleeing the country to avoid charges of theft, forgery, fraud. And in 2000. In 2011, he fled, and again in 2017. So just think if he was caught, these women wouldn't even 
gone through this. So this is why we have to speak up. Hi, um, hired or her yet served five months of the 15 months before being released for good behavior in May 2020. I bet he did. All right. Um, at the time of this writing, uh, he is currently not facing any charges related to the allegations from the women. All right. The three women who are be behind the GoFundMe page. All right. And on um, uh, before this or after this aired, he thanked um, his supporters because he always will have them. Uh, for the support, um, adding, I will share my side of the story in the next few days when I have sorted out the best and most respectful way to tell it, both to the involved parties and myself. Oh, this is going to be a circus because he's going to love the attention. Narcissists love the attention. All right. All right. He said he said he didn't do it. If he would have, he would, they should have arrested me. All right. And he was asked by the the uh, creators to take um, part in the feature, which, which they have to do legally. But his only response was a voice message that accused the team of defamation. Of course, they're, he's, they're always all that proof and they're defaming your character. All right. Um, so his Instagram was peppered with responses. All right. Which premiered on February 2nd. But within hours, the entire account had been removed. If I was a fraud, why would I act on Netflix? The text read in the Instagram story shared to his followers. Do I have that up here? I don't think you can read it. Oh, okay, yeah. So I don't know if this was if this is still current. Thank you to all for your support. I will share my side of the story. Okay, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they should have arrested me when we were still shooting. It's high time the ladies start telling the truth. Oh, spoken like a true narcissist. If you can't give, if he said, if you can't give them the world, then they'll they'll turn yours to hell. Oh, ain't you something? I will be addressing the world. Stay tuned and tag others. And the sad part is that he's always going to have people defending him. He's always going to have narc sympathizers and people. Yes, I'm not saying that the women didn't have any accountability. They absolutely do. Now we know, but it usually take, it takes us wisening up. We are, when we don't know, we are no match for these narcissists. But when we are empowered and we awakened, we are much more powerful than them. Do you understand that? We are, you are much more powerful than any narcissist and they know it. But the people, people are going to follow him. People are going to support him. He said, well, if I did anything, I would have been arrested. You were arrested. You, you spent time in jail. You're a convicted con man but they are going to make him even more famous and people will go follow his account. I never understood that. Like with Derrick Jackson, with people who come out, people will go follow their account so they can be nosy. They will go follow these narc sympathizers. They will go follow these self-aware narcissists. They will go follow narcissists and make the narcissists more famous. Do you, that is twisted. You are doing the same thing when you are a narc sympathizer. And I don't know why unhealed empaths cannot see this. All right. All right. But and this is before I get out of here. Um, uh, and this is, I guess, a woman or a man. All right. But when you are controlled and ruled by your emotions, you will continue to fall prey to narcissists, sociopaths and psychopaths. We can all be fooled. These people have charm. But the more you don't, the more you don't gaslight yourself, the more you ask God, ask God for wisdom and discernment. You don't have to turn cold. You know, that is not the answer. The answer is letting God guide your heart and using the wisdom and discernment that he has given you. All right. And if you don't have it, ask him for it. All right. He loves you. What father you ask him for a piece of bread and he gives you a serpent. God is not like that. So if you ask him for wisdom and discernment, he will grant it to you. Now, he's going he's not just going to say here, here's his wisdom and discernment. He's going to give you opportunities to increase that. You know, you ask him for patience. He does, doesn't give you patience. He gives you situations. He allows situations to happen where you increase your patience level. The understand that. All right. So ask God for wisdom and discernment and he will give you uh, he will uh, uh, increase your, your discernment so that you can you hear from him and in that intuition. You hear from him. You hear from the Holy Spirit and you don't quench it. We have built in alarm systems. But when we are ruled by our emotions, we are not supposed to be willed, ruled by our mind, our, our mind, our will or our emotions. This is the soul realm. This is where narcissists 
uh, to tap into you. This is how they do that. They do that by creating a soul tie, by tapping into your mind, your will, and your emotions. So if you are ruled by any of that and you allow the narcissist and you don't guard your heart, you will be continuously mistaken and misled by narcissists. Do you understand me? All right. So he appealed to her emotions. Even uh, Eileen, when he, when she was on to him, he still tried to get her back and lure her back by appealing to, to her emotions. Satan always dangles the carrot to see if you will take the bait. I love you. I can't wait to give you to, to have you back. I can't wait to give you what you want. And then when they're dangling that carrot, they're going to tell you the things that you want. Oh, I, I, we're going to be together forever. Oh, now I'll give you the house when you're preparing to leave. When you're on to them, they're going to future fake you some more. Satan's going to dangle that carrot. And if you settle and you believe the lies, you will be sucked back in. All right. And narcissists, narcissists, a lot of them become life coaches, pimps turn pastors, therapists, psychologists, lawyers, doctors, judges, your psychotherapists. All right. They become these people so that they can further uh, appear to be righteous. They can further appear, all right, and further manipulate and control and abuse people. And they use these positions of power to deceive you. Do you understand me? And I guarantee this man is going to repackage himself. He's repackaging himself already as a business coach. How many of you know people, even in this community, have repackaged themselves as some kind of coach? And they are narcissists. They are pimps turned pastors. Do you understand me? All right. Where are the women? Where are the women? We talked enough about him. These women are putting back the pieces to, of their lives together. They are paying off the debt. All right. And now they are they are seeking, you know, outside support, which is their right. All right. They are coming together. And I pray that in all of this that they find God. I pray that they repent. I pray, and most people don't understand the importance of repenting when you've been with a narcissist. All right. But you need to repent. So the lessons learned, guard your heart. Guard your heart. Do you hear me? Guard your heart. You don't have to turn cold, but allow God to give you discernment. All right. No dating while you are healing. This is not the time to be looking for another relationship. I know you want companionship. I understand that. But get off these sites. All right. Get off these sites. They are breeding ground and cesspools for sociopaths and psychopaths. All right. And if you do that, look, guard your heart. Guard your heart. All right. Guard your heart. All right. And if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Someone who is super nice. All right. Hello, sweet heart. Hello, greatness. Hello. Someone superficial charm is a marker of someone hiding behind a mask. All right. When they are vulnerable, when you are vulnerable, you are a manipulative uh, person's dream candidate. All right. They'll come in when, when a parent has died, someone is sick, you're sick, you know, different situations. You know, you're looking from someone, ask me how I know. They seek people in vulnerable states to appeal to your emotions, to bait you in. But you don't have to buy someone's love. No loans, no buying affection, all right? You really have no depths of the evil. Narcissists will go to remain unexposed to keep you silent, which is why I champion for survivors. And I absolutely, unequivocally support these women and abhor narc sympathizers and enablers. All right. Don't just think these demons are online. Well, I don't date online. There, look, you can meet one at the store. Don't think you that you you doing something because you're not dating online. They are in your pulpit. You're they are in your church. They are in your workplace. All right. And we already talked about you can you can report these these uh, situations to the FTC. You can make a police report. We talked about that in my dating um, uh, after narcissist abuse workshop. Get in all my workshops. They they they're good. All right. Make a police report. You may be saving someone's life. All right. You may be saving your own life. All right. Now, these narcissists get get uh, progressively worse as they age, as they are frantic, as the supply dwindles. So speak up. It empowers you. It empowers you. If you're feeling disempowered, you need to speak up. You need to go to God so you can be empowered. The more you speak up, the more you find your voice, the more you'll find your niche, the more you'll find your purpose. All right. And we may not all do this, have a YouTube channel, but there's different ways that you can speak up. There's different ways that you can use your voice. Do you understand me? Yes. Little old you, you will, you should be big in the spirit if you have the Holy Spirit. All right. The narcissist is betting. The narcissist was betting on these women never saying anything and they're betting on you 
to never say anything. They're betting that you are, right, they, they're betting on you to be too embarrassed, too ashamed, all right, of what you have done. What if these women were too ashamed? What if they went, didn't come forward because of all the backlash and the support for the narcissists and all of that? You have to throw all that out the window and say, still, I will still speak up. I will still rise. I will still do what is right. All right. So in closing, all right, keep petitioning the courts of heaven. All right. Watch my video. If you don't know how to do that. All right. If you are in this situation and it seems like the narcissist is, is winning in your life and it seems like you're not getting justice, ask God for justice. All right. The system, the system, you, if you go to this world's court systems, a lot of times I say probably about 90 percent of the time it's not going to work out like you think it is. All right, because we live in a Jezebelic narcissistic system and the system is not designed to protect you, to protect you is there to protect the system. So why do narcissists protect or why does this world protect the narcissists? Because they, they had when, when I went to court, I was like, wow, this man has more rights than I do, because the narcissist. All right. That this is the way that this world is built up. This is the world. This is this world. So I had to go to my God. I had to go to Yahweh. I had to go to LA, Elohim and he worked that thing on out. All right. He worked that thing on out. All right. So uh, uh, do what you can to 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 speak up, speak out. All right. If you feel like God is telling you to do that. And even if justice is not given at the time where you think it should, don't lose the faith. Don't ever lose your faith. Put your trust in God. And you know that no matter what it looks like, one thing about it and two things for sure. I know God. I know God has never forsaken me. I know God has never left me, even though it looks like the narcissist is going on. It looks like this sociopath is whatever he is. I don't diagnose, but I do discern. It looks like he's going on living his best life. All right. It looks like he's going on living his best life. And the narcissist in your life is going to look the same way. It's going to look like they're living their best life, like they're going on. But it is a complete fabricated lie. You cannot be living your best life when you are tormented and demonized by Satan's demons. Do you understand that? All right. They're not getting away with it. They're not going away with it. But that is not your focus. All right. Your focus is on you. All right. Your focus is on healing. Your focus is on telling your truth. Your focus is on being who God has called you to be. Do you understand me? Your focus is on healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your focus is on God restoring you. Your focus is on the kingdom. Hallelujah. But if you need a therapist, you need a, a, a psychologist, you need whatever you need. You need a life coach. Build your A team. Do you understand me? Build your community. Get around a community. If you're looking for one, we're on Clubhouse. All right. On, on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. CST. I make on, and then I have like some messages on Thursday. So follow at Narc Free Living. All right, on Clubhouse, go to my website, www.narkfreeliving.com. All right, there are resources there. All right, and then if you need training for your organization, for your, your church, whatever it is, I teach on domestic violence and narcissist abuse recovery and conferences. I do speaking, I do podcasts. All right, and then you can also check out uh, the latest podcast that I was on. It is on my website. All right. So we look, the goal is I made this my life's mission until God has me to do something else because I know what I went through and I know how alone I felt. And I never want you or anyone else to feel that way. All right. So Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for this word that has gone forth. Thank you for being a part of this conversation. Heavenly Father, we pray that that narcissists are exposed. Heavenly Father, this is another year of exposure, Lord, and you're exposing the hearts of men, those who refuse to repent. Heavenly Father. So if there's snakes around us in our circle, Lord, expose them, Lord. And then, Lord, work on our hearts, Heavenly Father. Show us, Lord, where we're not like you, Heavenly Father, so that we can repent, Lord. I repent of all of my sins, Lord. Shine a light on my heart, Lord. Shine. You said our hearts are, are wicked. Who can know it? You told us to guard our heart, for out of it flows the issues of life, Lord. We're not supposed to turn to man to, 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 to heal us or to... Um, 
or to uh, be there or rescue us. You are our rescuer. You are our redeemer. And if we get with you, you will send us our kingdom spouse, our kingdom husband, our kingdom wife. You will send us the kingdom partnerships, Heavenly Father. But if we go to this world, Lord, we'll find a narcissistic Jezebel, Heavenly Father. And we don't want that. We bind up those spirits in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we loose your love and your guidance and your protection over our lives, Lord. Help us to operate in wisdom, Heavenly Father. Be a part of our decision-making process, Lord. Help us to be in tune with you, Lord. When you tell us something, someone or a situation is not right, Lord, even if we don't have proof, help us to trust you, Lord. Help us to trust our, ourselves, Heavenly Father. Help us to trust you above all, Heavenly Father. And for those who need justice, Heavenly Father, like David cried out, give us justice, Heavenly Father. Don't let it seem like the narcissist is winning. Lord, put our enemies to shame. Hallelujah. For those who are in court with narcissists, Lord, we petition the courts of heaven on their behalf, Heavenly Father. Lord, we repent, Lord. We repent for coming into agreement with Jezebel. We repent for coming into agreement with idolatry. We repent for being rebellious against you, Lord, and not trusting you at your word. So Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for being you being you, Lord. We thank you for saving us out of the hands of the enemy and those who are still with the narcissists, Lord. Show them what you want them to do. Show them your will and your way, Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord, we know that there is an uh, uh, exodus going on. Many people are being released from their Pharaoh, Lord. For those who are in agreement, Lord, let them go. Let them let them release from their Pharaoh. Let them let them go. Let them go, Pharaoh. Let my people go. Hallelujah. So Lord, we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for everything that you are. We thank you for being Jehovah Jireh. We thank you now for the opportunity to know you as as Jehovah Nisi, as our banner. Jehovah Rapha is our healer, Heavenly Father. Jehovah Shalom, you are our peace, Lord. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we thank you for being head of our lives, Lord. And we take the narcissists. We renounce the agreements made with the narcissists. And we put you in your rightful place. And we sever all ungodly soul ties, all ungodly agreements, all demonic covenants in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we ask for you to reestablish us, Heavenly Father. We ask to be born again, Lord. We ask for a fresh indwelling of your Holy Spirit, Lord. Live within us, Lord, so that we can make the right decisions, Lord. We come out of this world and into the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray for these women, Lord. We pray that they are able to recoup more than what, what they are asking for, Lord. We pray that this spirit be taken down, Heavenly Father, that this man pay for what he has done, that he is held accountable. And likewise, that the women, that they all repent, Heavenly Father, in the name name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That they come to know you, Lord, in all of this, that they find you, Jesus, that they find you, Heavenly Father, and then more uh, uh, survivors find you, not witchcraft, not sorcery, not divination, not sage. They won't protect you. They won't protect you, just like the men and the false prophets on Mount Carmel. Those false gods won't protect you, but Elohim will, but Yahweh will. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we thank you for the word. We thank you for this conversation. We thank you for for the lessons learned, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Restore every sin, Heavenly Father. Restore every sin that these chain breakers have lost. Restore the years that the locusts have tried to steal. Restore the restore them, Heavenly Father. Restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you so much. All right. And don't forget you can ask me a question on Wizio. Thank you to our beautiful sisters who have who have uh, asked me questions there. I really appreciate you, all uh, right? And I'm glad I'm able to, to to pour into you as you pour into me and we're able to iron sharp, sharpens iron there. And then don't forget the workshop. I will see you on Saturday. I won't be live um, uh, uh, Saturday. I will be, all right, um, on the uh, on the uh, birthday blessings. I'll be on, on um, Zoom, all right? So I will see you beautiful sisters there. All right, this is for my sisters, all right? So I will see you there, all right? And don't forget to follow my husband, Faith Based Workplace, and uh, just keep those notifications on, all right? So I thank you, and God bless you. See you next time.
Uh-huh. Check it out. Yo. Feel the rhythm on the bass bar. Man, I feel the rhythm on the bass bar. Hit me, you come on, come on, come on, come on. 